Hey everybody, it's me, Hetty, and today I'm gonna share with you how I make my clarified butter. Miss Eileen Luster, it's here, I did it. <laughs> uh, I had it on the list to do, and I've had it on my list for a couple of years, and I can't believe I never got around to doing it. I think in my head, I thought I did. Now, I wanna say something about clarified butter and ghee. I see a lot of people out there putting it all in one, and are they interchangeable? Yes, they are interchangeable in most all recipes. But clarified butter is cooked just to the point where the water evaporates and the milk solids separate. And that's where you stop to get clarified butter. If you go further, you can turn it into ghee and those milk solids will start to caramelize. And, and, and you have to go a little further. Uh, but anyway, I'm gonna share with you how I do mine. Again, y'all know I'm not Chef Paul Proudhon. I'm not Emerald, I'm not Paul Dean, I'm not Justin Wilson, I'm none of those. I'm just me and I'm gonna share with y'all how I do it. Get that thumbs up if you like this content. Okay, Eileen, big hug. This is for you. It was on my list, but you've asked me a couple times and I'm not gonna let you down. So here we go. already got four sticks, one pound of butter in my, I have a heavy bottomed sauce pot. I know you can't tell, but this is a very thick pot. And I use this when I make my clarified butter. And right now I'm gonna get the fire under it, not high. I'm on the high side of medium, just a minute, just to help get it uh, going. I am not wanting to get anything brown at all. I'm just kind of, heating up the pot. I'm going to cut this down. I'm not going to let it stay on hot. I'm actually going to do this on a, a little bit above low, not the lowest setting. And you'll see what I mean as we progress. But anyway, I'm going to let this start melting. I'm not going to see it's already starting to melt. And because I use purposely room temperature butter. And you don't see me using a lot of my clarified butter on camera because what I'm trying to do a lot of times is when I am sharing things, I'm not trying to be advanced. I'm trying to help a beginner cook or just share my tips. But a lot of people do not want to go to this trouble and I totally get that. I mean, I didn't always make my own clarified butter for sure, but it's just so easy to do. And once you, you know, if you do get to where you want to do it, you'll be glad you did. So having said that, I'm not going to keep rambling. I'm going to let this continue to melt and I'll bring you back in stages. So I'm going to show you already. It's going to be hard to see with this shot, but I'm going to try to pull around. You see this white? It separates. Under here, there's your butter right there. And on the bottom, we don't want to, I'm trying not to disturb that. But what I want to do here is as this is going, and I have it on a very low flame now. I've changed it and I just skim. Put it off to the side in a bowl. I try to get as little of the butter in there as I possibly can. I'm literally skimming the top. I'll show you. There's just very little butter in there. But it's hard for me to do on camera, so I'm gonna finish doing this off camera. And I'm actually, now that the butter is completely melted, the flame is going completely off. I'm gonna skim this and I'm gonna let it settle, and then I'll bring you back and update you. As you can see, this process hadn't taken five minutes, not even five minutes. Alrighty, here's an update. Uh, now what I did was I did the first skim, like I was showing y'all that I was doing a moment ago. And then I brought it back to a low temp, low, barely. And as you can see, I got a few more milk solids out and now there is no flame under this. I am gonna just let this sit. Cause as you can see, this is the pretty uh, under part. Th this middle layer here between the milk solids at the bottom and the foam at the top, this is the clarified butter. And we wanna get to that, but we don't want the white stuff in with it. I'm gonna let this sit down for a minute, settle. Some of that stuff will still kind of glop up to the top a little bit cause the pan is still whew, hot to the touch even though it was on a low flame because it's so thick. This is really a thick pan. I'll bring you back. Okie dokie guys. So I want to show you this hadn't even been five minutes. I went ahead and I did 
uh, go through and skim the rest of the foamy part, okay? There is a little bit. It's hard to get 100% of it. So what I'm gonna do is, pardon my beat up old cookie sheet here. I'm gonna move this because I've got the camera set up here already. So I'm gonna do this for y'all. Let me see if I can center that. And what I do is this just, this is some cheesecloth I have. I doubled it. Try to get a good quality cheesecloth if you can, y'all. They don't, it doesn't cost that much and it lasts forever. So anyway, I've got a sieve. Now just do that. I've got me a nice glass. Because remember, this is still going to be on the warm side. Because it hadn't been just a few minutes since I talked to y'all. Less than five, probably. And now, here is the tricky part. There's stuff on the bottom. And I'm going to come and I'm going to slowly pour through here. That'll catch a lot of this that I didn't get. I'm gonna hold it steady. And I'm seeing it starting to appear, and you probably will too on camera, maybe before me. Yeah, see that? And I'll let it try to settle for again for a minute. Then you just kinda gotta rock slowly. When it starts getting up to the lip of the pan, stop and come back. Now, I want you to see also, I'm gonna move the pan back a minute. See how it's catching? See that? It's catching some of the stuff that I couldn't get with the ladle. I'm gonna do this again. And look, let me tell you something else good. A lot of people just throw this out. That is ridiculous. So I'm gonna let this keep settling. I'm gonna keep doing this. See, I'm gonna continue to do this until I get it all. All right, so I'm not gonna do that on camera, but I wanna, I wanna talk to you about this. Don't waste this. Uh, I'm gonna keep getting some, uh, more butter out, but I am getting close to where I'm not gonna be able to get much more out. As you can see, it's getting harder and harder to get any to come out without that creeping up to the lip. All right, hey, when you steam your vegetables or whatever you're gonna do, popcorn, whatever, toast, save this, put it in a jar in the fridge, you'll use it up, don't waste that. There's no reason to waste this. It's still got great flavor. All right, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to still let this settle down. And then I'll show you. I'm going to just put it in a jar. Now, a lot of people, let me talk to you about this. A lot of people, uh, and by the way, I've got, uh, what did I end up with out of that pound? I've got one and a quarter cups clarified butter. I'm going to let this, uh, I'm going to pour this in a jar, but I store mine in the fridge. I do not... I know they say shelf stable, all that. I still put mine in the fridge. There are certain things I don't take a chance with, and this is one of them. It's gonna solidify. And then when you go in, you just get your spoon, you're gonna saute with it. You're, you can do all kinds of stuff. Uh, if you just microwave it on very low, just to get it to the melt point, this is what you dip your seafood in. Yum, yum, yum. All kinds of uses, uh, making sauces. Like I said, sauteing, uh, putting it on your vegetables just a little bit, you know, drizzle it. And uh, you'll be really happy with this, I think, if you use it. So you use it just like oil. But I do not keep mine out on the shelf. I do. I don't keep it in the pantry. I do keep mine in the fridge. That's, a, that's my only caveat compared to maybe other people that do this. I don't can it. None of that stuff. So there you go. Uh... Clarified butter. I'll show you a shot of the jar. You know, my uh, obligatory shot of the finished product. And the picture for the thumbnail. But that's it, y'all. Eileen, look how easy that was. You can do this. And like I said, don't waste this, guys. It's good. I'm still going to let this settle. And I bet you I can get another couple of teaspoons off this for, before I'm done. I'm not going to suffer you through doing that on camera. I sure hope you're going to try this. I know I say that every time, but really... You know, you gotta try it. It's easy. This is easy peasy. And to be really honest with you, sometimes I do two pounds at a time. Alrighty, how's that? Um, now look, I wanna show you something. The reflection of this jar is making that look white at the bottom. That is not white. I have triple checked that, but in the lighting, for some reason, it's looking like that. Probably she used a clear jar so you could see it. But anyway, 
I'm still, this is still very hot. I'm gonna let it settle on top. I'm probably gonna even take a spoon and go around the edge of that. And there it is after that cools off. But I do wanna show you this as well. Whatever you do, don't waste this. Use it in your mashed potatoes or whatever. Like I just said, there's many ways to use that. Don't waste it. Just let it cool down and put it in the fridge as well. Anyway, there you have it. Clarified butter. So see what you can make with a little patience. Okay, y'all. I love y'all. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.